I feel like we all know why I'm standing in front of the camera right now. Like, we all know. But, um... Fuck. For those of you that don't know what happened this past weekend, um... Some horrible things. Like, some horrible things. Both took place in Orlando. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, you guys know how I felt on Saturday after I found out about the Christina Grimmy thing. It made me sick to my fucking stomach. Like, that's all I can say. I couldn't move, I couldn't do anything on Saturday. I was stuck all day. I sat on the couch, had all these plans to go to Pride, and I was stuck on the couch staring at the wall. That's just like how I felt. And you guys can understand why that hit home for me, her being a YouTuber. Like, I know that she was on The Voice, but she started with YouTube and that's where she continued. And to be at a meet and greet, with the people that love you and support you, where you should feel safe. And to be a person that just wants to share their talent with the world and like spread positivity and to lose your life in that way frustrates me so much. And of course, as a YouTuber, I'm, I think about those things and things and possibilities that could happen to you at a meet and greet, but never anything like this. Like never anything like this. To already go to sleep that night, feeling how I felt to wake up to find out about what also happened in Orlando at Pulse nightclub. Like, I have no words. Like, I have no words. And I don't want to sit here. At, I, first of all, I don't even want to cry. Like, I don't. And it's not like, I'm just so angry. Like, that's really what it is at the end of the day. I'm so angry. Like, I just can't help but, like, see these situations that happen and then, like, feel like I'm at fault for some way but for not doing enough. I woke up Sunday, obviously, so hurt and so scared and made me hesitant to go to LA Pride because of everything that happened, but I felt like we needed to be together more than ever. We needed to go out and support each other more than ever, and I'm not gonna allow somebody to make me scared and not wanna be proud of who I am and like be around others that are proud of who they are. To have a shooting like that, at a festival for happiness. All I wanna do right now is like, who the fuck cares how I feel? I just want to be able to put it out there to those that may not know because I'm so sick of fucking stupid shit happening, horrible things happening, and then us saying, oh my God, we need to do something, and then we forget about it, and then nothing happens. And I just feel like we all need to take the what's happened, hold every single one of those that lost their lives in our hearts and make us stronger people. I'm so frustrated. I haven't been able to sleep at all. Like, I know I just said who cares about how I feel, but fuck. I haven't been able to sleep, you know why? Because every time I close my eyes, I feel like I'm in the fucking club. And those are my friends and we're the ones at risk and how do I get out of this situation? And it bothers me, nobody should feel like that. Nobody should be in that situation. Nobody's mother should get that text. Nobody's mother should be out looking for their kids, hoping that they come out of this club. Like mothers were in there supporting their kids. Like this makes me sick to my stomach. Like I just, I can't. I know everybody wants to preach certain things, but what I encourage is to ask more questions. Because why I'm so angry is because I have a lot of questions that are unanswered that don't make any sense to me. Why did that go on for as long as it did before it got stopped? When do we get to a point where somebody's lives need to be risked to save others? I don't know. Why is somebody able to be on an FBI watch list and buy an assault rifle? And that's different from these gun laws. I was raised in Texas, so I feel a certain way about guns, but why would anybody that is anywhere near suspected able to buy a gun, let alone an assault rifle? And then it, certain politicians are quick, so quick to put out certain statements right away, right away. That's what I encourage all of us to just watch out for. This shit doesn't make any fucking sense to me. That's why I'm so mad. Like I'm obviously like I carry all these people that lost their lives with me at this point going forward, but this needs to make us stronger and louder than ever before. You're amazing. We all matter. We all have reasons to be here. We all have voices that we can and should use. That's what I wanna encourage. I don't have anything else to say. There's other YouTubers that are also putting out videos today and I encourage you guys to go and watch theirs. Listen to what everybody has to say so we can all 
band together. I have links down below that I got from my friends, my other YouTube friends, Steph, somebody that actually lived there, went to this nightclub, things like that. So uh, please do what you can to support, as I will. Please keep Orlando and Christina Grimmie and everybody affected by all these situations in your hearts and in your prayers and uh, make us stronger and better people because we all went through a lot of shit to be who we are. So we can't allow anybody to take that away from us. I love you guys.